có nơi mình sẽ review Ờ, em thích ăn cái uh, tâm liền với đêm xiêm của này lắm Của hiệu này hả? Dạ, yeah, ngon lắm Có ừ. hà cao ngon. Em thử này chưa? Chưa Có nơi mình thử Và... Là... Không biết nước phở bùi liền So early at this afternoon, I was down at Woolworths and I came across two products that I purchased and I wanted to do a review on it. The first is Heart and Soul All Natural Fur Soup and the second is Mr. Chan's Vietnamese Beef Fur Kit. I think the main question we want to answer tonight is whether it's worth even buying these pre-made fur soups on a supermarket shelf or do you save the money and go buy real fur. All right, first things first, let's open this up and see what you get inside. To get two packets of vermicelli, I'm assuming two servings for two people. You get a garnish, or what I like to call hang pho. But this one looks like it is just some dried cabbage and spring onions. And then you get this satchel. It doesn't smell like a pho. So let's go over the ingredients. The broth has water, 80%, salt, sugar, soybean oil, onion powder, soy sauce powder, celery, long coriander, mint leaf, artificial beef flavor, garlic powder, ginger powder, turmeric powder, cinnamon, clove, paprika color, color looks very similar to my pho, except it's got this orange tint to it. Now we're adding in 500 mils of water. That actually looks like a pretty, pretty solid broth. I'm just reading the front of this and there's something a little strange with it because it says this broth or this soup is made with konjac and I'm not a big fan of konjac so I'm not sure what is going on I'm not sure whether the konjac noodles are inside here because just reading the front it says traditional Vietnamese soup infused with aromatic herbs and spices with low calorie konjac noodles and New Zealand sliced beef ready to serve so I'm assuming they're there's chunks of beef down the bottom but just feeling it I cannot feel any noodles inside mmm it's very fragrant although a different smell to the other broth What I thought was just broth is it's an actual, it's like a meal kit in a packet. A couple of bits of beef. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how to react to this one. So side by side, you can see there is a big difference between the two. This one is ready to go. Whilst this one, the serving, the, the volume of broth it's about triple this one. So you get more mileage out of Mr. Chen's. Em dám ăn cái thịt trong đó. Tụi đây cái này canh chua, canh ngót. Và một nồi canh ngót. Cái nước này giờ chứng nước còn cũng một quế của anh mình đó. Nó chỉ thử như là nước lèo á. Đúng rồi, đúng rồi. Này không phải anh nấu luôn. Cái chén không phải anh nấu. Sẽ <cười> mang nó giống như là... Nó thử như phở không? Giống như mì tôm vậy á. Giống như tôm, hơi nhiệt hả?
I think with a couple of adjustments, you could probably manipulate this broth into a poverty file if you really needed to. This is weird. It's like a vegetable soup. And it's funny because Vietnamese people have a dish called Kang Cho. It looks exactly like this. All right, I'm gonna try the meat that is in this packet. It's a little strange. Nó tự như là nó là nước cá nó làm từ cá không? không có biết em cái cái vị nó giống như là nấu từ xương cá see red boat can save this broth if you add fish sauce to this it adds a bit more depth but the taste Still way off. Try horse in. Yeah. In terms of taste, look, I can eat it. I could probably finish this. They were edible, but now I'm actually starting to feel sick. And when you look at the ingredients of both packets, they're both all artificial. There's nothing that is natural about either of these broths. Considering I'm an advocate for making bone broth legitimately, uh, when you come to something artificial, it just misses a mark very far. So to answer the original question, is it worth buying these two products if you're really, really craving a bath? Sadly, the answer is no. And even though they're cheap, and at that price point, you're better off going to a real restaurant if you're craving a real pho. And that is it for tonight's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be doing more product reviews just like this one. If I see anything related to pho on a supermarket shelf, I'll pick them up, I'll review it, and let you guys know how it tastes. See you in the next one.